I would like to first express my gratitude to the Corona Warriors. For the last two years, they have risked their life. The physicians, the surgeons, the nurses, the ward boys, the pharmacists, the ambulance drivers, the security people. I want to thank you all. My nutrition Malnutrition talks about both undernutrition as well as overnutrition, obesity. But right by, by so far, our focus has been only on undernutrition. Now we want to really address this nutrition problem. It's a it's a problem of decades. It's a problem of generations. It's an intergeneration problem. Unless we address the issue of agricultural security, food security, and nutrition security, we won't be able to give permanent sustainable answer to this problem. Now the most important nutrition problems are anemia. Anemia is very very important. Almost uh, two thirds of the population is suffering from anemia, especially the women in lactating and pregnant stage. The second is iodine deficiency disorders, vitamin A deficiency, and other micronutrient deficiencies. So these are the major challenges we have. But I must also warn you that obesity is becoming an increasingly important problem. especially in the urban areas that too because of the fast food that the children are consuming the solutions are multi sectoral and the single most important part is the awareness awareness is very very important and we don't seem to spend a lot of resources on awareness that's the important conceptual framework that we are lacking health promotion specific protection early diagnosis and treatment disability limitation and rehabilitation so so far at least in the indian context we don't seem to be focusing on health promotion very little we are our attention currently is only on specific protection you have anemia give it give anemia iron and folic acid supplementation your iron deficiency you give iodized salt but health promotion is very important and that is conspicuously missing in the indian setting now awareness assessment analysis and action actually there is a place called iringa in tanzania it's called the triple a approach assessment analysis and action my after a lot of thinking i have added awareness as an important part now this address has to be addressed by five important people who are living in the village first is the asha auxiliary nurse midwife the agriculture extension worker and i in my mother tongue is marathi i is very important so unless we do this at the village level mahatma gandhi said that the india lives in the in the villages gram swaraj so that is the area that we need to strengthen and another important thing i want to share with you something called positive deviance in every village there will be some children who are doing extremely well so we must try to understand their best practices and use it in the entire villages i also want to bring to your notice that when you go to our civilization monjodona rappa every village had a grain grain storage facility all the drains were covered and there were public places for toilet somewhere in the in the middle we lost this important fundamental concepts that were uh, that were addressing nutrition problems community medicine i would say it's community health not medicine and the conceptual framework as i mentioned earlier of community health are are health promotion specific protection early diagnosis and treatment disability limitation and rehabilitation community health also includes five important disciplines ultimately we are looking at change of behavior which is the most challenging and important things to address but you have to have exposure to anthropology psychology sociology economics and politics these are the five disciplines of behavioral sciences and unfortunately I was a member of the secretary of the committee on national rural health mission on reforms in medical education I said these five services are very very important anthropology psychology sociology politics and economics these are beyond health these are called non health determinants of health 
and the students should be exposed to these disciplines. Unfortunately, this has not taken place. Now take the case of Delhi. We have Indian Institute of Technology, we have Jawaharlal Nehru University, and we are AIMS, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi. We are within the diameter of, I think, five kilometers. Why can't these universities come together and start combined courses to address and give a holistic approach to students, whether they are engineering, whether they are social sciences or medical sciences? It is, I would strongly recommend to the Honorable Prime Minister, that this is what should be done. And we should set, set a role model. IIT Delhi, Jawaharlal Nehru University, are all in of medical sciences, New Delhi. It's a dream that would come true. And Honorable, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi, I call him as the public health champion, not of the century, but of the millennium. He started Swachh Bharat Mission. He started Rashtriya Poshan Abhiyam. He started Atma Nirvat Bhavar. He started many schemes which are novel. In fact, 90% of the diseases caused are caused by water supply and sanitation. He is the first Prime Minister that we saw who addressed the issue of Swachh Bharat Mission. The Western countries addressed the issue of water supply and sanitation 200 years back. Now it's now we're, we're addressing it. So that's a very credible and very important thing that the Honorable Prime Minister introduced. He has given the nice policy direction. It is up to us to implement it. Thank you.